Hi there, it's Thomas with Believe in the Run. This is Robbie with Believe in the Run. And that's a crazy hat. Welcome to the jungle, baby. All right. Welcome to the Janji. I mean, it is. We're going to have lots of <laughs> patterns going on here, but this is great. We're talking about a shoe from a brand not a lot of people know about, Robbie. Yeah, this is the, this is Bram Black. Tell us a little bit about Bram Black. Okay. <laughs> it's a tongue to tell. Tongue twister. <laughs> So, Brand Black is a Los Angeles-based, mm, sort of, I guess, fashion shoe brand. Basketball is where I think they really got their started, but it was basketball with, like, the fashion twist. <laughs> so, today we're talking about a shoe called the Kaiju, and this little animal on the tongue will give you a little hint about what Kaiju means. What's it mean, bro? Uh, it means monster in Japanese. So maybe you'll notice this little monster on the tongue. I love the monster, by the way. I do too. <laughs> I, I do, I do. I, you should make t-shirts with this on it. Oh, but yeah. it kind of gives away what kaiju means. Kaiju in Japanese. Uh, like monster or like Godzilla, I guess. Well, any of the don't Godzilla hold, characters. Like if you look it up on YouTube, you'll see all the monsters from the old Japanese movies. And like, it's pretty cool. You know what? Subconsciously, I'm wearing the On Cloud Monster. Do you think I did that today because I knew we were reviewing the other monster? It's just full of monsters in okay. here. Before we get into it, let's break it down like we always do. Let's start with the upper, Robbie. What do we got? All right, so this is basically a mono mesh, like rip stop style upper. Uh, a little bit stiff, maybe, but maybe could use, but durable, I should yeah. say. Yeah. I'm actually kind of getting into the mono mesh uppers. I think it's starting to become like my favorite type of upper. Like if you're gonna go knit, mono mesh. Yeah. I think mono mesh, and then I guess you can kind of go, there's knit, mono mesh, and what's the other like one? Like engineer mesh. mesh. Yeah. Jacquard. Yeah, so I, I kind of am liking this specifically because it's lightweight, it's breathable. We're starting to see it on all the race shoes. Like if you mm -hmm. wanna go fast, they're putting the mono mesh on there. It just loses weight. Yeah, and it's easy to work with, I guess. Yeah, and I actually, I really enjoyed the upper a lot. Um, didn't have any issues with like irritation or whatever, even though it's a little stiff. Um, yeah. And we got the tongue here, which is, uh, I don't know, it's kind of like to me the weakest point of the shoe. It is. It needs to be gusseted or stitched on one side or something mm -hmm. to keep it in place. I do like some of the underlays that are in here. They're like felt underlays that give you that extra structure kind of over the saddle to keep you locked in, which is nice. Of course, to keep the shape of the toe, you've got some, but it's really kept to a minimal. You know, it does keep down the weight with that thinner tongue, but I will say it does slide off to the side during performance. Super thin, so it didn't really matter that much, but I don't know, it was, it, it was a little bit annoying. Yeah, I mean, it, it, now if you are picking this up as a lifestyle shoe, that's maybe just like a running for a few miles, it's not gonna be a big deal. But yeah, if you're doing some longer stuff. Yeah, with Robbie shoe. saying lifestyle shoe, I do understand why someone would pick it up as a lifestyle shoe, but this shoe actually performs really well. So we're getting into what the magic is. It's this super critical foam. Yeah, this is their super critical jet bond. So it's their, uh, you know, inf it's EVA based, but it's yeah. infused with tiny, tiny little but what's, bubbles. Yeah, what's interesting is they start off with a little puck about this big, and then they inject it, a heat injection, and as it explodes out, it creates all these little bubbles, and that's why you get that airy, bouncy feel. Think about like just more bubbles able to compress so that you're getting that bounce out of the foam and you really feel it in this. I feel like it's got a really nice foam and a really nice ride. Yeah, and so stack on this is 34 in the heel and 30 in the toe mm. for a four millimeter drop. Mm, that's good so math. That range is like sweet spots for a lot of people. A lot of people the, like that. Yeah. You're gonna miss out a little bit on the lean that you get out of a higher drop shoe. I think it really rolls well and what this shoe does nicely is it has a good toe spring. So with that four millimeter drop, you're coming through and rolling off and it's a pretty smooth ride. Now there's a secret component between <laughs> the midsole and the outsole here. What is it, Robbie? It's bulletproof in case you get shot in the toe. <laughs> yeah, if you're in Baltimore <laughs> and you're on a run, just yeah. kick up your shoe. Yeah, and you'll be safe. Uh, there's a Kevlar strip that's underneath the forefoot that the intended purpose is it's supposed to basically do what a carbon plate does with like no weight at it. I don't know, it well, sounds crazy. I mean, the only thing I can think of is if you add a little bit of rigidity to the, to the toe off, the plate does give rigidity, but the thing that you get in a carbon plate is you get that loading and then the pop sensation that pulls you forward. 
I'm not sure that the Kevlar gives you that feeling. At least I didn't feel it in yeah. the shoe. Same. And I wonder if it was not there, if I would have liked the toe off a little bit better because I would have liked that softer feel behind the toes. I'm not even sure if the Kevlar <laughs> it, we don't know. Impact, impacts maybe, that. Maybe it's good, maybe it's bad. Nobody knows. Yeah, yeah. so for a size 10, this weighs 8.5 ounces or, Robbie? 241 grams. And Robbie knows that because he knows. I'm a conversion machine. Yeah, he's just converting all sorts of stuff. Yeah. To finish off the shoe, Robbie, we got some basic rubber on the outsole. Any issues with grip or slip or anything like that for you? Uh, no, I actually thought the grip was pretty good, surprisingly. I didn't have that, that high of expectations for it, but I felt like cornering. I think with that tight fit of the upper, you kind of like cornering, even though it's a high, bit higher of a stack, it feels somewhat, you know, decently stable. It's a little bit wider than a lot of shoes. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, did this remind you a little bit of the Hyperion Elite, like the Geometry? It does, it does remind me, that's a shoe that I would agree with. It reminds me of the Hyperion Elite feel and ride. You know, I was really kind of surprised when we got this shoe. I really enjoyed running in it and putting in the miles. I think I remember calling you and or texting you and be like, Robbie, I, I'm digging this shoe. Yeah, yeah. I, I've been wearing this like a lot lately. Um, and not just for running, but for just out for and the about. Flex. You get a lot of quite, like I had so many people ask me about this shoe while I was out on the run. They're like, is that Adidas? Is it Nike? Like, yeah. what is that? I'm the like, style of it is great. I, I really like what they've done here with the look, the off-white midsole is mm -hmm. cool. You got all these like kind of geometric zebra tiger stripes. I don't know what they are. Yeah, I do kind of wish they had, maybe this will be on like the final final version, like their name somewhere on it. So it's, I, don't, I don't know. No, I kind of like it. Like it it, okay. it kind of reminds me of the APL Streamline yeah, as well. Okay. That's another shoe that I felt like this really fits in nicely right. with. And I like just kind of that mystery. Like, what are you wearing? Hmm, actually, you know? yeah. You get the, you get the little monster. So I actually, I love the monster so much that I, when it, if I would wear these not on the run, I'd pull the specifically pull the lace so out. People can see your, so people can see the monster. See your monster. <laughs> it's worthwhile to see that. The other thing, Robbie, we never talked about price. Yeah, we should probably talk about that. So that's where this is gonna sting. I mean, smaller brand, higher prices, it's just gonna happen. So this is $250. Um, and I did say, you know, I put it in that APL streamline category like if i was going to compare these two shoes and we should probably do a roundup of like like fashion yeah. the shoes that get, you can run well in and this and the apl were two shoes that surprised me how much i enjoyed running miles in like robbie said he put a double digit run in i did double digit miles in this it's comfortable it's smooth i mean you could use this for just about anything if you are looking for that more of a statement piece for your run collection if you have the money to spend on it you definitely won't you won't regret buying this. Yeah. You throw on your satisfied running gear, <laughs> you throw on these brand black yeah. uh, runners, and you're definitely, nobody in the coffee shop or at your weekly <laughs> club meetup is gonna be uh, yeah, macked out like you. Yeah, you're the only one there. Uh, this does come out summer 2022, so. Yeah, you know, I know that you guys know. get frustrated with <laughs> when things release, but we're here to kind of give you the news and then when shipping and how the crates work and we don't even know how fulfillment's going and all the factories are having trouble, that's when the shoe comes out. So when we say summer, could be... August, could be September. September still is summer, technically. Yeah, or it could be July, who knows? Yeah. I'm gonna give this shoe a green, do you agree? I'm gonna give it a green for Godzilla and yeah, <laughs> right, I it's. Like it. uh, I, I really enjoyed this shoe. It's a good job. David and everyone there at Brand Black, excited to see what else is coming down the line. Yeah, keep the monster names coming. Like, uh, I like yeah. this this vein. Yeah, of... can we get a t-shirt with this for real? Yeah. That would be awesome. All right, so Robbie, like the Brand Black. <laughs> Robbie, like the Brand Black. Yeah. We like it. Yeah, we like it. How would we want people to do with this video? You like us, so subscribe. Make sure you like this video and follow us on all our Instagram. Yeah, Instagram, the Facebook. podcast. All that stuff, all that good stuff. If you don't know what our podcasts and Instagrams are, just check the information. Yeah, in we the, post our yeah. podcast to YouTube now so you can check it out. Yeah, you can. Subscribe yeah. to the channel, you get some of that. Yeah, thanks. All right, and uh, please, please let us know what you think of Robbie's hat. All comments welcome <laughs> or unwelcome. <laughs> all right. So maybe you'll notice this little monster on the tongue. I love <clears throat> I can't get it. And it can't get a break. <laughs>
<coughs> you got Godzilla. All right. Godzilla throws. 